Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss acupressure. In this video, I will tell you the pressure points, so watch complete video. Used for thousands of years in China, acupressure applies the same principles as acupuncture to promote relaxation and wellness and to treat disease. Sometimes called pressure acupuncture, acupressure is often thought of as simply acupuncture without the needles. But what exactly is acupressure and how does it work? For acupressure, you don't need to sit in specific position, you can do it anywhere you want, and less than one minute, you get effect from this procedure. Some studies suggest that acupressure releases endorphins and promotes anti-inflammatory effects, helping with certain types of arthritis. Depression and anxiety, more than one study suggests, that fatigue, and mood, may improve from the use of acupressure. In acupressure, muscular tension is released, by applying pressure with hand at specific, acupoints or pressure of the thumbs, on specific points, or the application of pressure, to acupoints is used, to balance the flow of the physiological energy. The hand valley point can be found in the firm skin between the thumb and index finger. Reflexologists claim that applying firm touch to this pressure point may help reduce stress, as well as alleviate migraines, toothaches, shoulder tension, and neck pain. The practice of using pressure points falls under the disciplines of acupressure and reflexology, which study how one part of the human body relates to another. Many of the body's most powerful pressure points are believed to be in the hands. According to those who practice reflexology, applying the appropriate touch to the hands can energize and restore health to other body parts, including internal organs if you're feeling tired or have a disease. Reflexology has been used by some Eastern cultures for thousands of years. How to manage stress and ease anxiety with acupressure. This ancient discipline is a very effective natural remedy for calming negative emotions and relaxing the body quickly. Beyond the hands, there are also other acupressure points that promote relaxation and help us to calm down. With two index fingers, press and rub the back of your head for 15 seconds, just at the level of your hairline. And, to combat insomnia and sleep better, press your back at the level of your third lumbar vertebra for about 30 seconds. Then breathe consciously, relax your jaw and repeat the above points. Inner gate point take one hand and feel about 3 centimeters out from where your wrists were touching in the middle. Reflexologists recommend you massage this point firmly with your thumb. This is believed to improve your digestion and relieve any nausea or stomach pain. Active acupressure reduced heart rate significantly more than did placebo acupressure during treatments. Press the point using your thumb for 30 seconds to 1 minute. And main point is placed behind your ear, 1 cm behind the middle of your ear. Placing pressure to this point for 10 to 20 seconds a few times can help promote better sleep. It has been proven to improve sleep patterns for people with insomnia. The human thumb is full of sensitive nerve endings. This allows the thumb perform the most delicate and detailed tasks. It also makes the thumb a focal point for several important pressure points. Applying pressure to these thumb pressure points can help provide relief to a long list of ailments. They are often used as a low-impact treatment to avoid the side effects of medication. Thumb pressure points should only be used to treat illness. This is a very stressful and challenging time for many of us. If acupuncture isn't accessible to you right now, give acupressure a try. A simple acupressure routine may help to manage some of the effects of stress and anxiety on the body. Applying pressure to acupuncture points mobilizes energy in the channels and communicates with the nervous system to stimulate the release of those feel-good chemicals. In Chinese medicine theory, emotions and mental functions are viewed as components of qi, the body's vital energy, and blood. Correcting the movement of qi and blood in the meridians brings balance back to the mind, body, and spirit. Feng Kai lies right at the base of the skull, at the top of the back of the neck, in the soft depressions just lateral to the thick tendons of the trapezius muscle. This is an acupressure treasure that many come upon spontaneously noticing that it just feels good to massage this spot, an intuition which turns out to be consistent with what we know of the acupuncture meridian system. Feng Kai is behind your earlobe, toward the top of your neck and the base of your skull. 
Reflexologists use this point to treat everything from fatigue to headache. Stimulating this pressure point may improve a stiff neck caused by sleeping in an uncomfortable position. Hope you like the video. For support please, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon, and let us know about your suggestion in comment section. Thanks for